Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about composite bodies. To find the centroid of a composite body, we will divide the body into simpler geometries and we calculate the centroid for each single part. So if you remember the equation for the centroid is x bar x tilde dA over dA. So x tilde was the centroid of the differential element and we have infinite number of differential element that's why we use integral but if we have simpler geometries if we have finite number of geometries the integration changes to summation and then x tilde would be x bar for each single geometry with the corresponding area where i is changing from 1 to n and n is the number of subset geometries summation of areas or we can think of it as the total area so where n is the number of subset geometries so let's look at this example we have composite body A and we want to find the centroid for this body. We need to divide it into simpler geometries. There are multiple ways we can divide it and then as long as we follow the rule it really doesn't matter. Here I'm going to call this 1, 2 and 3. So if I want to find x bar I have summation of x bar i a i and then here i is changing from 1 to 3 because I could divide it to 3 geometries to summation of areas again changing from 1 to 3 so if I expand this it would be x bar 1 a1 plus x bar 2 a2 plus x bar 3 a3 and for the area I just add all the area together and because we have divided into simpler geometries, finding x bar 1 or x bar 2 or 3 are very simple because we are dealing with rectangles, squares, and triangles. And it's very easy to find a centroid of such geometries. And we could write the same thing for y bar. Now let's look at more geometries. Here in geometry B, we can divide it into a rectangle, and a triangle also we have a hole in between so I'm gonna call this one two and then we have a hole in between so the hole would act as a negative geometry as a negative area everything is the same but whenever we want to plug in the area we are plugging a negative value of the area so if I want to find x bar that would be x bar 1 a1 plus x bar 2 a2 minus x bar 3 a3 because the area is negative same thing for here a1 plus a2 minus a3 let's look at geometry c so here we could divide it into a square and call the biggest square 1 and then we have other geometries that are subtracting from our bigger geometry. A quarter of a circle and a triangle. So if I want to write my x bar, it would be simply x bar 1, a1, minus x bar 2, a2, minus x bar 3, a3. And the area, a1, minus a2, minus a3. So by looking at these examples we could come up with our procedure so we need to divide the body into simpler shapes find the centroid for each simpler shape if the composite body has a hole the hole is considered as an additional part but just with a negative area so we are basically subtracting that area from our total geometry also, if we have multiple geometries, we could simplify our calculation and present our centroids in a tabular form. We could 
consider a table and then divide it into multiple section. Here, as an example, we have from section one to section four. And then the last row would be the summation, X bar, Y bar, A. We have here summation of A. Here, we don't need the summation of Y bar and X bar, don't give us anything. Summation of A, here we have summation of X bar over A. And then here, summation of Y bar over A. So, if I divide this column by this, I will get x bar. x bar is simply x bar over a summation of a. And if I divide my last column by summation of a, I get y bar. So summation of y bar over times a summation of a will give me y bar. So that's another way of calculating composite bodies.